And your false by inflatable boat clubs, Bloberg Nationals, was this year sponsored by Automotive Dynamics and attracted participants from all across the country with no less than 32 teams competing in three different classes. This was also a great opportunity for spectators to watch some of the world's leading pilots in action in a sporting discipline which is currently dominated by South Africans. Although slightly overcast, day one turned out to be an excellent day for racing and without the dreaded southeasterly wind. Last minute preparations are always vital to the success of the teams and a decision on which prop to use or a faulty start for instance at the beginning of a race could in the end mean the difference between win and lose. Competitors from as far afield as Swakopmund in Namibia, Boxburg in Gauteng and East London and Port Elizabeth in the Eastern Cape are regular entrants in this national meeting and this year was no exception. First up under starters orders on day one was the modified class and as always a quick and trouble free start is essential to get the nose in front and avoid the salty spray and restricted visibility. Not too big a swell to contend with, and in an early lead is one of the favorites, the Robertson-based pairing of Henny de Bot and PJ Vary in the Robertson Abattoir boat. Quantums could see and two are still well placed, but still under siege from BNK's Upton and Wright. The two brothers, Marius and Jan Ludovics in the boats and bikes boat, who sees the white flag signaling the start of the final round and trying to fend off the attentions of Quantums could see in the two -way. First across the line, the popular team from Robertson Abattoir, Henny de Bot and PJ Faree, followed in second place by the Eastern Capes Upton and Wright in the B&K stainless steel boat. Then in third place, Marius and Jan Ludovics in the boats and bikes colors. And in fourth place, Quantum Worths, Kutsia and Atue. Confirmation then of the results in the modified class Heat 1. In the second heat of the morning in the modified class, the results were reversed ever so slightly and this time it was again the Robertson pairing of De Bot and Fury taking line honors, but the Ludovics in the boats and bikes boat finished second this time around, could see and the from Quantum Wealth's BC Carriers in third place. With the modifieds taking a break, it's time for the blueprint class to show off their speed and skills, and away they go, and it's a struggle for position at the front. Probably one of the best teams in the country currently, Stefan Linnicki and Danny Almenga and the HomeNet Realty 2000 colors will prove to be a handful to their rivals. Eugene Gower and Warren Schwartz from East London in the Autoplace boat proved to be competitive throughout the weekend. Still flying at the front of the pack, the Van Giems brothers, Herman and Niku, and so at this stage of the proceedings, they seem to be unstoppable in their quest for line honors. Rian Wolman and Tinas Boers in the Blue Marlin Seafoods boat trying their utmost to stay with the quicker men. The flying home net team of Lindeke and Harmond are trying to outsmart the rest of the field. Final lap in the competition was fierce throughout the duration of the blueprint class races. Your own Hawks and Lennon Collins from East London based Aquarius Stable trying to fend off the attentions of Lionel Ball and Stefan Hichu. It's a great win for the Van Giems brothers over Lindeke and Havenga in second place and Hawks and Collins in third and this is what the standings looked like after the first heat. In the second heat it was again Herman and Nico Van Giems crossing the finishing line first followed by Hawks and Collins and the third place for the Namibian entry of Quinton Liebenberg and Leonard Pratt in the Lighthouse Just-in-Time Transport boat. Sadly for them, there was no place amongst the top three for Hermits, Lindeke and Havenga, but this is how the contenders finished eventually. Well, it might look like a scene from the movie Apocalypse Now, but there's no better way in which to get a bird's eye view of the action than from this grand old eagle in the sky. The start of Group B, and the weather is definitely changing with the wind starting to pick up now. From the outset, Michael Hutting and Justin Powells made it clear that they were the ones to beat in this group, and it was full throttle from the starting flag for the Eastern Cape team. National pilot Bumpy Ackerman, who knows this stretch of coast like the palm of his hand, is another one of those dedicated pilots who has done a tremendous amount to market the sport, and who has been a remarkable ambassador for inflatable boat racing, not only in South Africa, 
but also of late abroad when South Africa met with foreign opposition. To Qantas, Rocco Erasmus and Tilman de Villiers, two local competitors trying their utmost to stay with the quicker men. Francois von Weyck and Fadi Schenk from the Strand in the power group RFG Communications boat also gained some valuable experience over the weekend. The white flag signals the start of the final lap of this heat and Michael Hutting and Justin Powell's in the Aquarius colours know that they are on their way to a brilliant finish in this heat. The checkered flag and line honours to Michael Hutting and Justin Powell's in the Aquarius Microlink team colours. In second place we have Wimpy Ackerman and Dian Gilemier in the Automotive Dynamics and PR Transport boat and a well-deserved third position to the H&H &H team of Roy Ball and Carlo Tiar. The second heat of the Group B class turned out to be a carbon copy of the first, and again it was Hutting and Fowles who took line honours, followed by Ackerman and Gilemier, and again a third place to Ball and Tiart. All that's left on day one is the standard class, and again one or two teams who would like to impress the national selectors with the Mr. Video team of Herman Lorenz and Jakub Foslu, the overwhelming early favourites in this class. Immediately, it's a struggle for the front, and Mr. Video's Lorenz and Foslu takes the early lead from boat number two, national pilot Barry Marks and co-pilot Jacques Leroux from Vereniging in Gauteng. Hilton Otto and Anthony Brooks in a fly pass. Nicky Smith and Emil Fulion in the diesel generator services boat were gallant in their efforts early on, but failed to finish both the heats on day one. Here's Philip Brunk and Jakub Kotze, two young warriors in the colors of Rat Race Media, and it's a big one for Herman Lorenz and Jakub Forslu, followed by Mark and Leroux and Luan and Rian Milan in third place. In the second heat, it was Mr. Video's Herman Lorenz and Jakub Forslu repeated their earlier success with a straightforward victory, followed by the Milans, Luan and Rian in the Just Right Stationers boat, and a third place to the Gauteng-based national pilot Barry Marks and co-pilot Jacques Leroux. At the start of the standard class Group B entries and the other Mr. Video team boat of Dreyer and Jan van Niekerk, the two brothers from the Overberg, could prove to possess the same skill and speed as their teammates in Group A. Jan Vermeulen and Ben Geldner is two of the lesser known entrants, but on the day they could surprise the more fancied opponents. Indeed, the wives who suffer most when their hubbies spend hours in the water, and at least Barry van Dijk and Lutekan Radi gave them some recognition this time around. Dreyer and Jan van Niekerk looking strong at the front of the field, but will have to fend off on Barlen and Sneeman if they want to come through in this heat and beat the quick TSS communications team. Wayne Schrader, who incidentally learned the tricks of the trade from his father Saki from a young age on, showing his true potential. A white flag signaling the start of the final lap and Van Ballen and Sneeman hold onto their lead over the rest of the field. A great view of the ocean here, a table view with a majestic lion's head in the background, completing a picture which typifies the unique beauty and serenity of the Western Cape. Vermeulen and Geldnes probably never had time to study the picturesque surroundings because they had their eyes firmly set on the checkered flag. George von Ballen and Guy Sneeman made no mistake in their quest for line honours and always looked like victors in their TSS communications boat. Dreyer and John van Niekerk secured a well-deserved second place and Barry van Dijk and Luther Conradi in the Auto West boat finished in a strong third position. In the second heat, Wayne Schrader and Björn Burger showed their true potential by outrunning their nearest rivals. That's the Conoprecast Imperial Cargo team of Tian Vermeulen and Ben Geldnes, and Van Balen and Sneeman in TSS took third place. It was time for the finals after the heats on day one, and in the modified class, the two local lads, Maurice and Johan Ludewijks, proved too strong for their rivals on their home territory. Second was the ever-competitive Henny de Bot in PJ Free in the Rutzen Abitur boat, and third was Quantum Waltz, Bram Kutsia and John de Toei. In the blueprint finals, the Roan Hawks and Lyndon Collins underlined their class and outraced their more fancied opponents in the Aquarius boat. 
Second was Lindek in Havenga, followed by Roy Ball and Carlo Tiart in third. Lumpy Ackerman and Vian Gilmi had a bit of bad luck, but still finished in fourth place. In the finals of the standard class, Herman Lawrence and Jakub Foslu in the Mr. Video team continued their winning streak of the morning seats and they were followed in second place by diesel generators Schrader and Berger and in third place we had Foster and De Goede from the Midas Nexus team. of the start of the second and final day of this year's Blurwood Nationals and again conditions near perfect for inflatable racing with a moderate swell and not too much wind to contemplate. The girls are back again hoping to supply competitors with that extra bit of liquid that might give them wings but for the men preparing for the action it's another long day of bumpy waters and salty sprays. It's a start for the standard class in the heats before the final late on in the afternoon and right from the start, it's Mr. Video team of Lawrence and Foslu making their intentions quite clear in the early stages of the race. Barry Marks and Jacques Leroux had a pretty solid run on the previous day, accumulating enough points in the heats to finish the day in third position overall behind Mr. Video's Lawrence and Foslu and the Midas team's Foster and De Goede. This was now a great opportunity for them to narrow the gap between the front three and who knows, to even upstage the leaders. Schrader together with co-pilot Björn Berger in the diesel generator services boat and if a race had to be won on guts alone this young man would often be on the podium. Final lap and there's no stopping the flying Mr. Video pairing of Lawrence and Faslu. Eugene Foster and Nicky de Goede made their intentions clear of finishing amongst the top three. This is Barry Marks and Jacques Leroux trying to consolidate their position but the immediate threat comes from local boys Tian Vermeulen and Bert Schaldnoes. The checkered flag signals yet another victory for Mr. Video's Lawrence and Fosler, and they followed in second place by teammates Dreyer and John van Niekerk. Then it's Forster and de Goede in the Midas Nexus teamboat, and Marks and Leroux fourth for Century 2000. second heat of the stand class on day two there was again no stopping the flying Lawrence and Fosler but this time Marks and Leroux moved up two places to finish second and Fosler and De Goede in the Midas Nexus sponsored boat with an excellent third place time again for the final heats in the modified class in the Upton and right from PE are to prove that they can match the power of the Ludovics brothers who performed so well on day one Always in the mix of things, and although one of the most jovial teams on the circuit, the bot and co-pilot PJ Free do not fool around too much when the heat is on. Quantum Scutzi and the two are determined to hold off the PE team, and this turned out to be a great tussle between the two teams. Pressure brings with it a whole host of problems, and Upton and Wright succumb to this pressure when they flip their boat in the back straight. The rescue team on wet bikes are quick to lend a hand to the team in the cold water off table view. It's a running restart of the heat because of the flip of the Upton Wright team, and this time the bot and Faree will make full use of the second chance to secure a lead and finish on top in the heat. men from Robertson in full flight followed by Marius and Johan Lodewijks who did so well on day one and then the ever-present quantum team of Bram Kutsia and John de Toy. That's Quantum Wealth who together with the production team of Rat Race Media shared the responsibility of the magnificent action footage of this year's Bloberg National Meeting here at Table View. It's a checkered flag for Robertson's De Botten Faree, who made full use of the restart after the flip of Upton and Wright and managed to secure the heat. Followed by Maurice and Johan Lodewijks, and Brom could see and John de Toy in third place. Confirmation of the results in this heat of the modified class are as follows. 
The second heat in the modified class saw a reversal of the earlier results. And this time around, it was Marius and Johan Ludewijk in the boats and bikes colors who took line honors. They were followed by Quantum Waltz, Bram Kutsi and John de Toy, with Greg Upton and Brendan Wright in third place. Group A in the Blueprint class under starting orders and no doubt that the Homenet Realty 2000 team of Stefan Lindeke and Danny Harvendha have been the pick of the weekend's racing and they are undoubtedly the top team in South Africa currently. The hail from Melkwa Strand, a couple of kilometers further up the coast from where the action is taking place here, and as far as consistent performances are concerned, these two are without doubt the undisputed champions in their class. Martin from Rensburg and Eugene Binnedel from Embryo Design and Print are two more of the lesser experienced competitors but you only gain experience on the water, and in this regard, they too had a fairly successful meeting. Here's the Qantas, Robert Rasmus and Tilman de Villiers still in with a fighting chance, although they eventually failed to finish the seat. Rowan Hawks and Lyndon Collins, who was always in these sort of conditions, proved to be a handful again to their closest rivals. That's a checkered flag and line honors for the favorites, Linda Keen Havenga in the HomeNet Realty 2000 sponsored boat. In the second heat, it was once again a fierce competition for the top three spots, and there was a titanic struggle throughout the heat between the home net and Aquarius teams, but eventually the Aquarius team from East London, Hawks and Collins, took line honors, followed by Lineke and Harmenga, and Ball and Tiart in third position. A quick recap of those results before we move on to Group B in the Blueprint class. Yet another day in an extremely windy paradise, and now it's all out action in conditions which might test the skills levels of the different teams to the full. Armand and Nico van Gems have no trouble in demonstrating their low flying skills. Someone who underestimated the strength of the wind, and the race will have to be restarted once the boat is removed from the water. Every sport, unfortunately, has its injuries, but with the paramedics immediately on hand, this one luckily had a happy ending. A running restart in Quinton Liebenberg and his very experienced co-pilot, Leonard Pratt, will utilize this second opportunity to the full. Wimpy Achman and Dian Gilimi in the Automotive Dynamics PR Transport Boat have been a force to be reckoned with throughout the two days competition and they have proved to be a handful to their nearest rivals. In of the heat is signaled with Lionel Ball and Stefan Hichu in the driving seats, this time followed by Ackerman and Gilemi in second place, and Herman and Nico van Gems finished in third place after their superior performance in this class on the previous day. In the second heat of the day, Wimpy Ackermann showed why he was rated as one of the top pilots in the country, followed in second place by Liebenberg and Pratt from Namibia, and third was Michael Lighting and Justin Powells in the Aquarius Microlink boat. The finals of the standard class, and after a good weekend's performance, the favorites will definitely come from the two Mr. Video entries, boat number three, Herman Lorenz and Jakub Fossler, and boat number eight, Dreyer and John Fenica, the two brothers from Caledon. We can also expect a strong challenge from Barry Marks and Jacques Leroux in the Century 2000 boat, with Eugene Foster and Nicky de Goody in the Midas boat in with more than a fair chance. Lawrence and Foster making a move early on, but conditions are definitely more trying than in the morning session, with the wind picking up steadily and the resultant bigger swell causing problems to most of the contestants. A flying Tion for Mellon and Bertha Skalnes, who I must say has been the surprise packet of the meeting so far and doing exceptionally well in their home waters. But Eugene Foster and Nikita Kude had other plans if Emilian thought this was going to be plain sailing. At this stage of the finals, Dreyer and John Fenikak were building up a commanding lead 
and it was going to take a mammoth effort from the rest of the field to stop these two brothers in the standard class finals. It's a checkered flag at last and the two brothers from the Overberg, Breyer and Jean van Nikak, take line honours in this final, followed by team 99 for Millen and Kalmes, who were really surprised with this excellent performance. In third place it was Century 2000's Barry Marks and co-pilot Jacques Leroux with a solid performance. And Eugene Foster and Nikita Kudu also had an excellent afternoon in the Midas Nexus sponsored craft. Tired maybe, but pretty happy with the way things panned out. And let's have a look at the results then of the finals in the standard class of this year's Bloberg Nationals. The finals now of the modified class, and with the wind picking up considerably, the water also becomes more choppy, which means that these pilots will really have to concentrate hard on the task ahead. It's a quick start from everyone, and immediately Maurice and Jan Ludovics in the boats and bikes boat is in the lead, followed by Robertson, Abitur's Henny de Bat and PJ Ferry, with Quantum Waltz, Bram Kutsi and John de Tway running full throttle to try and secure an early place amongst the front runners. Yes, Upton and Wright running wide of Quantum Waltz to try and pass them on the outside, but that strategy does not always work, because running wide like that definitely makes the course just that much longer. Well, it looks like the bottom for is in a spot of bother, and they have definitely slowed down considerably. There's our current leader again, the Ludovic brothers in the boats and bikes colors, and if nothing unforeseen happens, they will not be caught easily in this final. That's BNK with pilot Greg Upton running in the shallow waters, just waiting for the break to turn without too much fuss to the bigger surf. Quantum still protecting their second place, and they look well set to finish in this position eventually. The flag is out for the final round, and the two Ludovics still holding on to that commanding lead. It's the checkered flag at last, and Maurice and Jan Ludovics have crossed the finishing line in first position with an amazing performance of skill and speed and the ability to read the conditions exactly right. Greg Upton and Brendan Wright do their sponsors proud with their second position, and Quantum Waltz, Bram Kutsi and John Dutoy finishes in third position with a very strong performance overall. Robertson Abitur has any debot and PJ Free manages to cross the finish line in third position, even though they seem to have experienced mechanical problems on the circuit. That's the event sponsor, Automotive Dynamics. And here's our winners in the final of the modified class, Maurice Signon Ludovic in the boats and bikes colors with an excellent performance of skill and speed. The final of the blueprint class should be extremely exciting and eventful with a whole bunch of top contenders vying for line honors. Conditions now have certainly deteriorated since the start of the day, and only the brave hearts will succeed here if they take on the elements in the quest for success. Plus three conditions and lots of spray, but immediately it's Wimpy Ackermann in the automotive dynamics boat securing a position up front. Roy Ball and Carlo Tiat in boat number six passing on the inside and hoping to secure a better position amongst the front runners. One of the favorites to race off with the honors and undoubtedly the pick of the crop amongst South African teams currently is Stefan Hennig and Danny Armenger. Herman and Nico van Giems had a dream weekend so far, but this might turn into a nightmare in the finals of this competition as they're struggling to get away from the back of the field. This is an amazing piece of footage with Martin from Rensburg tilting his boat over and Wimpy Ackermann passing him literally underneath the hull. Lionel Ball and Stefan Hichu doing what they do best, flying across the surf in pursuit of victory. Signal for the final lap and still Ackermann and Dion Gilleme in front, and they're not going to relinquish this position at this stage of the final. The checkered flag signals the end of the race, and uh, a magnificent win for boat number two, Wimpy Ackermann and Dion Gilleme with the Automotive Dynamics PR Transport Craft, followed by boat number triple eight, Stefan Lindeke and Danny Almendra of Homenet Realty 2000, and then the Aquarius team in boat number three of Roan Hawks and Lyndon Collins. Well, another well-organized and extremely successful Bloberg National Meeting comes to an end with some superb performances by some of the country's top pilots and co-pilots, and this bodes well for the future of the sport. <laughs>